McLaren 570S Spider 2017 Review McLaren has created its most attainable drop top by removing the roof from the 570S coupe, but none of the talent has come away with it. What is it? McLaren likes to call the 570S Spider its most attainable open top, a statement not wholly unlike the Duke of Westminster telling you that the land in and around Battersea is very affordable. Well, yes, compared to an acre of Belgravia, it probably is. But attainable in a broader, inclusive sense? Not on your Nelly. The Spider starts at £164,750, which means most will be £200,000. It's as exclusive as shale mining rights. Nevertheless, with the outgoing 675 LT Spider originally priced from £285,000, you can see where McLaren is coming from. And in marked contrast to most lesser car makers, attainable doesn't mean cynically second-rate for woking. Far from it, the coupe version of the 570S, a car available for 911 Turbo S money, is as near as damn it the complete supercar and arguably only second to the godlike 720S in the firm's ever-expanding canon. As that car forms almost the entire basis for the Spider, much is expected of McLaren's latest model, not just in performance but in sales figures, too. Naturally the drop top shares the 3.8-liter twin-turbo V8 in its 562 bhp format and the 7-speed seamless shift gearbox, ditto the Mono Cell 2 version of the carbon fiber tub and the all-round double wishbone suspension attached to it. The chief difference then is a 46 kg increase in curb weight. The drawback of having the coupe's composite roof panels pack themselves neatly away after 15 seconds of button pushing. That the penalty is modest compared to most rivals is a familiar virtue of the mono cell, like the 12C Spider before it, no additional buttressing is required as the 570S is not dependent on its roof for torsional rigidity. Consequently the Spider is no less stiff than the coupe. It's practically no slower either. McLaren reports a deficiency of 0.1 seconds from 0 to 124 miles per hour, and unless you have the roof down, the drop top will ultimately clock the same 204 miles per hour top speed. With the wind shot blasting your hair, Woking quotes 196 miles per hour our left-hand drive test car came equipped with the optional sports exhaust. 10 spoke forged wheels and a substantial smattering of carbon fiber body parts, among other things, for a final sticker price just shy of £210,000. What's it like? As is the way with open top McLarens, prizes ought to be given for spotting the difference versus the coupe when the roof is up. The panel gaps and Trono cover give it away but otherwise the styling alterations are pleasingly limited, no one is likely to spot, for example, that the Spider's rear spoiler is 12mm higher to account for its aerodynamic alterations. This means that 570S's swaggering prettiness carries over intact. As, it must be said, does the slight palaver of getting into one. The sills are slimmer on Mono Cell 2 cars, but 16.5 stone of yours truly still tends to fall in the driver's seat like a sandbag shoved over a seawall. The hardship won't stop there if you've opted for McLaren's notoriously unforgiving carbon fiber racing seats, which come equipped with the kind of lumbar support that seeks to transform your slouch into an upright posture worthy of a Swiss finishing school. Generally though, the 570S's interior is fabulous. Obviously you'll need six months of work experience on a Woking-based software development team to work the Iris infotainment system with anything approaching intuitiveness, but the surrounding hand-built fit and finish is now almost uniformly immaculate and, under an additional layer of cost option opulence, it looks at, too. The new two-part roof functions blamelessly, and will do so up to the safety first speed of 25 miles per hour.
Roof up, McLaren has provided the option of raising or lowering the small rear glass screen which acts as a wind deflector once topless, a familiar supercar way of making the noise and airflow part of your day regardless of the weather, and there's even some additional space for some luggage under the tonneau cover, think handbag or a rucksack or anything else you fancy swearing about when the car reminds you it needs removing before the roof can come off. Roof down. The world's invariably peers in and with its attention comes a fairly stiff breeze. It's not chronic by any means, but nor is it serene, expect a ruffling of the rug even at run-of-the-mill speeds, with the windows up. A modest level of bluster is acceptable, of course, somewhat less forgivable is the raucous quality of the soundtrack drowning it out. Criticism of McLaren's turbocharged V8 in this regard is nothing new nor is it any different from the must-try-harder censure we leveled at the coupe last year. But the spider inevitably moves the sound closer to your ears, and while its guttural brand of industriousness has an enormous and savage presence, it doesn't induce you to drive permanently under the influence like a Ferrari 488 or Audi R8 would. The complaints though do tend to dry up the moment you dip so much as a toenail in the mighty reservoir that is the spider's potential. Even with memory of the 720s's benchmark setting explosiveness still very fresh, its detuned stable mate is clean worryingly fast and in a way that manages to feel tractable, progressive, massive and yet not in any way outsized for the rear drive chassis it is attached to. Much as it was in the coupe. It is the 570S's capacity for turning this febrile low-end acceleration into an accessible, usable and supremely tactile drive that distinguishes the Spider from almost every serious rival. In this respect, the additional 46 kg proves about as consequential as lashing an amoeba to the beak of Peregrine Falcon, the car still rides superbly, changes direction preternaturally and inspires untold levels of confidence in its precision and grip. True, overt playfulness is arguably in short supply on the road, and there's no mistaking McLaren's brake steer technology when it cuts in on Spanish hairpins, but with the adaptive handling set at normal and the powertrain to sport, the experience of driving a 570S along a challenging road still ranks as one of industry's greatest privileges. Power, pliancy, lightness. Mechanical rigor and technological prowess collude nowhere more gratifyingly, finally.